The Sullivan County chapter of the NAACP held a town hall event with local candidates vying for a seat at the table. Sandra Oxford from the organization came up with the idea to involve the public in an open discussion. They were able to directly ask questions of the candidates. This is really about engaging everyone. This is not a partisan matter. This is about civic engagement. Sean Wall Carty from the Sullivan County NAACP echoed the importance of having the town hall. A lot of people are disenfranchised, and we're trying to make that connection. So we're bringing the people here to the Black Library to really have that, to hear that conversation, to hear where people stand, to hear how the positions of the candidates could potentially affect their everyday lives. A person in the audience, Joyce Burnett, had one question to ask the candidates running in the 100th Assembly District. I want to hear just what they have to say and what they can do for the county and our district because we are losing Aileen Gunther this year in January. We have a new person and I want to hear her perspective. High school students from Fallsburg were there because they wanted to learn about the political process and were anxious to be old enough to vote in the next election. 16-year-old Daris Klenovich and 17-year-old Jordan Wall Carty had this to say. I think it's very important to me as much because it affects me directly and people around me as my family, close friends, and my school community. Just so I can learn more about like future policies and what I'm getting into as I grow older. Early voting starts on October 26th and you can cast your ballot at the Government Center in Monticello and the Sullivan County Public Health and Liberty. I'm Jim Sebastian from Mid-Hudson News and Catskills News.